on to mm. the defense seemed like played great for most of that game. Yeah. But you guys come up short. How do you guys move on from that? Oh, just we gotta come in and practice and, and practice uh, great. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the past two weeks practice been like the best we've had. So we gotta keep continuing to be a, be great in practice and, and show up in game. Go ahead. Well, Coach Coach Barnett said your practices the last couple of weeks have been to a different level. Mine? Yeah, oh. yours personally. What, what do you think? Um, what do you attribute attribute that to? Um, I just been having the right mindset. Um, I seen what everybody said about me a couple games. Uh, that's not me. Uh, I'm a lockdown corner, and I just been showing that for the past two weeks. Um, but I've been having good plays and ones I, I had bad games, and it was just that one play, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, so we just come in and work just to get better, just to go on to the next level that I want to be on. So that's probably what it is. Right here. For the secondary as a whole, the big plays down the field in recent games, what's the biggest culprit? Is it not doing the job at the line of scrimmage, losing guys, miscommunication? What leads to those situations where things leak out? Yeah, a lot of things with like miscommunication. Um, by Coach Barnett and the uh, secondary coaches and stuff like that, they'll call a certain coverage or a certain blitz, and some of us not blitzing and stuff like that. So it's just the little things that we just got to continue to work on and that, that'll help out a lot in the games. So, do, you, yeah. do you feel like you guys are eliminating those issues though as weeks pass? Yeah, as weeks pass and you can see like like the bad players are minimizing. Um, we have to stop. We have to stop all the explosive plays. You know what I'm saying? So that they, like on Miami, we gave them an explosive play. Like on I think it was the third or second, the third or uh, the third drive. Uh, that's how they got seven points, and then they just took on from there. So we got to minimize the explosive plays, and then I think we'll be good. Coach Barnett said that Marvin Wilson kind of sets the tone for you guys mm -hmm. out there now. What has he done to, to kind of move into that role? Of yeah, uh, you know, he, he's become, becoming like a team leader, uh, especially when, he, when, you, when you're young like that and showing you can be a leader. You know, a lot of people on the team respect you. Like, so I think just showing that he can be a, that guy, you know, everybody's respecting him and feed off his energy. We've seen Asante and AJ get a lot of burn kind of in the secondary as the season's gone on. I mean, is that just kind of the best way to do it, just kind of getting thrown out there into those situations as the best way to grow? Um, yeah, I think so. Because uh, if you just if you're not out there, you're not gonna know how it is. So just putting them young boys in a fire like that, you know, just showing what they can do. I mean, you're a freshman, so you just gotta you gotta back up what you do out there. So that's all it is. Asante being a young guy, you know, all corners get beat at some point. How how has he handled that, and uh, what do you see from him since then? Yeah, he's handled it good. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, but you know, as a, as a DB, it's like that when you give up stuff, you, you just get, get, hold your emotion inside. But I know he's, he's pissed off about that play. Um, but other than that, I know he's going to move on and improve on for the rest of the season. The hurricane, a lot of the teams eva uh, evacuating. Are you, are you evacuating? Um, yeah, I think I might fly home after practice. I'm not sure yet right now.